and then like family stuff and all good stuff. Um, and parent te- or let's see, what was it? Yeah, parent teacher conferences, all that stuff. We're already done with our first quarter. Oh, oh. Yeah. wow. Yeah, it's it goes through. fast. So um, I was messing around with, um, I teach media production too, and, and AP English language um, and photography is what I do in my high school. And um, <clears throat> one of the projects that um, one of my teams of students did, but one girl's in charge of it, is she interviewed someone uh, who's a 19-year-old and he's running for school board in in Utah. And so if you know anything about Utah, um, it is one of the places that um, is there. There's a list of banned books in you in in high schools in Utah. There are books you should not you can't get. Um, And so this person we interviewed just graduated from high school um, and he is running for school board. Um, He's gay. And a lot of this, the books that are uh, banned in Utah are LGBTQ plus mm. books. Mm-hmm. And um, mm. so, I mean, he's got other um, concerns too, but he's, he's definitely concerned with uh, book banning. So we, uh, and I helped the students uh, do an interview uh, last week, I think it was. It's about a half hour interview and it's- Audi- it's Audio or fun. video? Video interview, yeah. Yeah, so okay. it'll be a video package. Mm-hmm. Um, we also work with, um, PBS NewsHour's student reporting lab. So it might be something that they'll maybe pick up on their social channels, probably not on their show, but we'll see. Um, mm-hmm. but, um, so it's, it's a lot, you know, so mm-hmm. these students are new, um, and new to journalism. They're good. They're bright. Uh, but you know, a half hour interview that's pretty wide ranging and pretty complex, like, you know, he talks about more, you know, like pedestrian and, and school lunch and, um, you know, all kinds of issues. So what I was doing is, and what I'm going to have them do, I was just testing it out, was to put in a half hour transcript into writing partners and try to get a handle on some structure. Mm. Um, and <clears throat> because I think it's it's daunting for someone. I mean, it is actually it's a challenge for me to, um, to organize that. I mean, I can do it, but it's not the easiest thing to just like, okay, I'm going to just launch right into this thing. So there's, you know, like I encourage them, I make them do transcripts. So you have to look at the, the words. So the tra- the transcript has already been made. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you do that um, YouTube, Chris. Well, we actually use a thing called Otter, which is uh, oh, Otter Otter AI. AI. Yeah, and, I and use that for my dissertation. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing that for years. And so Otter now spits out a summary as well in, in addition to a transcript. But but the issue that I have is um, the interview was recorded in three parts. And so any kind of summary is actually just for like one part of the um, mm-hmm. interview. So... I thought, okay, they'll put them all in one Google Doc, which is what I was experimenting with, and then go to uh, the outline mentor, I think it is, um, and just say, can you help me get a handle on this this video package? Um, Yeah, so that was one of the things I was up to. What what about including the videos? Um, I hadn't really thought of that. What? Because they could annotate mean? those as well. Uh-huh. Well, it's just a sit-down interview, so I mean, it's pretty static. I mean, the text is what I want them to deal with. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, they could. I guess um, I could. So, <laughs> so I just wanted to identify Rubani. Um, I, we invited you here tonight because we were hoping to pull together. Um, the four people who are three or four people who are writing vignettes in a chapter on AI for the digital discourse group. Oh, I've re- re- I've re- Debbie first, Debbie. Okay. Sorry, Debbie. <laughs> yeah, we were talking. Sorry. That was a long introduction. So, 
That's, no, that's, that's perfectly okay. I see. I was talking to Paul. I thought I had introduced myself already. I'm actually um, a school librarian by profession and by adoration. <laughs> uh, but I'm I'm now working at doing PD with school librarians. I'm not actually into a school anymore. Um, and uh, one of the things I have been noodling about is how you, how a lot of AI is directed directly to the student, whoever the student is. And in particularly in K-12, there's a lot of resistance to letting kids loose on AI, but teachers are beginning to open up and librarians are beginning to open up to what can this do for me? And so I'm interested in how to face AI prompting in a way that helps teachers synthesize 20 submissions that they get from students, right? Or yes. um, 20 <laughs> outlines or whatever. So that's that's really where I am, and it's mostly around the research process. Things like lateral reading, bibliography, annotations, note cards. You know all the pieces that go together. Where would AI help, and where would AI cheat the teacher of the thinking process? So it's a similar, you know, it's similar to any learner in a way. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. um, Bonnie left. I had a question for her, but we can we can get going. So, um, Chris, how are can you sort of quickly report where you're at with AI? And it didn't really launch with your media kids, or what are you thinking about right. all that? Yeah. Yeah, I started with my AP uh, language students because they're seniors. Mm -hmm. And so they, um, you know, one of the first things we do is their college application essay. Oh. And so how's that going? Yeah, good. I, I think, you know, um, anecdotally, they reported, you know, this is helpful. Um, mm -hmm. So we did put it through writing partners. And um, generally, I mean, if the feedback was pretty positive uh, on it being helpful. Mm -hmm. And, and so then, you know, we moved on to some other things. So that was probably the big uh, AI thing. Um, because at the same time, there's also a push um, at my school, probably other places too. But, you know, we do start a, a 90 minute class. We do a big chunk of reading from books to start with. Mm -hmm. And and then writing with pens in notebooks. Um, because I, I don't know, I mean, there's there's a lot of screen time. We can talk all about that, I guess. But um, so a lot of the time is actually like, okay, talk to each other away from your screen. And so um, I I wouldn't say I've been you know like doing a lot of AI, um, mm -hmm. but um, where appropriate. That's why this latest thing, I've had students record interviews, and so I thought I think running a transcript through a writing partner and helping them get uh, a sense of the uh, possible organization seems seems good because it's been kind of slow going so far with uh, I've been doing this a long time so I get impatient with uh, kind of shallow mediocre interviews I guess so uh, <laughs> I, um, so yeah so that's where I am now is um, the ones that have done interviews that are um, sustained interviews where it was more of a conversation. Um, I think that's got some potential with helping them do an outline. And and the reason I'm hesitant or I sounded a little down on my guess is like if I do an interview that's 30 seconds, I don't need much help <laughs> with the organization of that thing. There's like two quotes. Um, so uh, yeah, so I've been trying to get them still trying to get a little more complexity out of their work. And I think mm -hmm. then AI could help. I'm sure there's other ways AI could help, but it's it's controlled chaos that I do. And so I, you know, 
have to introduce AI, I think, where it makes sense, I guess. Chris, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. So um, when you introduce this transcript and say to AI, basically, what's the, what's the main ideas here or what's the order here or whatever you're going to ask it, and that you students get that feedback, what are they to do with that feedback? So um, I, that's why I was kind of playing around with it just a little bit ago. <clears throat> so, um, I mean, I hope, and this is a, the thing I'm talking about is a half hour interview that's not like a lot of the stuff that they're doing. But what I would hope is that <clears throat> the, the first structure that's going to come out of it um, was good, was pretty good, but I didn't think it... Um, uh, focused on the, the things that I wanted it to focus more on. So I, sh I probably should have said some things earlier in my initial prop. But um, I think he says some interesting things about, like, why he says, he says like, I don't think I'm going to win, basically. You know, the odds are not good for me. But he says, like, here's why it's important for youth to get involved and everything. So I think that's a real gem of this interview. So then I engaged it with, like, oh, you know, I'd like to develop this point more, you know, this is for youth media. So like, I want to, you know, like have more youth perspective here. And so I was engaging it that way, um, which is, I mean, the kids are sophisticated, but I, I feel like I'm, that's a lot for them to just launch into. So at first, I guess I want them to get some sense of structure. Uh, what could I do with this thing? and then engage it with, um, you know, at the end of it, there's a questions like, uh, you know, what do you want to work on next? So I was also using the news uh, lead tutor. Uh, and I have gone over with them kind of the different news leads that they could uh, use to write a text piece. So, you know, it's going to be a video, but everybody also has to have a text narrative to go with it on the website. And that's different. That's, you know, that could be structured differently than the video itself. So um, I, I would also have them engage with the transcript and say, like, how, what are some ways I might begin this story? Um, so both video, do something with the transcript to give them a structure for video editing, but then also the text that goes on that web page with it. Um, is is a different mode you know so so what you're really doing is you're using the interview as evidence for some sort of claim they're going to make around this whole piece which might be on a web page with a news article or might be by revising how the video it is is shown with comments from the person Hmm. Um, yes, on the first part. Uh, so they do have a website and a YouTube channel. So the, the, you, the video has to stand on its own. But on their website, you know, I think those two things, there's some interplay there. Uh, and each one is done separately, I guess. I don't know if that answered your question. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to get a, you know, I'm trying to be a fly on the wall of your classroom and see, you know, what it, how this builds and how it fits in with everything else you're doing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> um, Chris, you said that, that they'll be publishing this, that there is a site they publish it on. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we're hoping to do, and we have uh, some momentum building, is um, this group on writing partners that is called Youth Voices, mm -hmm. um, where they can then publish stuff publicly. Mm -hmm. Is that of some interest also to get some public stuff up? Because Bonnie's classes, she has a journal, you have a journalism class. We're hoping to get some stuff up there from you, right? Yes, yes. And I think, yeah, from your students. Yeah, I think I think they would like to get some feedback from people who are outside of the room for sure. And you know, in Philadelphia is even pretty cool. 
Yeah, and, and it makes it more um, relevant than just um, talking to their own audience within the school itself. Yeah, and I mean, there's a lot of competition for eyeballs, so I would not say that their audience, even in our own school, is massive. That's, that's yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. So, Bunny, I don't see Sam yet. Um, you saw he, he's, he, he's he somewhere. Him. He said he's in he's the wrong room. Okay, I, I don't, he, maybe he, I think he was in transit and maybe he's coming. Yes. Early. Okay, that's fine. So let me, let me um, jump in with this and, and try to get to some, uh, what's on the, in the middle of the table there is a piece of writing that I did. And Debbie, um, worth knowing that um, there is other writing around this that I owe you and I know that. And so you're here as, an, as, as somebody who's interested in, in our writing also, right? Fair enough. We can just say it that way. Um, and we're writing about the same thing. It's always clear, un, unclear to me which part of it I'm going to use where. But there's all that going on. But what, what I would like to do is, um, is uh, use me as an example. And here's, here's a notion that I put up in the announcement and I've been thinking about I wanted to get your thoughts about in, in national writing project circles, there's this notion that people get an experience in writing, you know, it happens in the summer times a lot, a, a lot. And then they know, they kind of understand the writing process and, and how, um, what students are thinking and doing when they go back to the classroom and they can create writing experiences for kids and know how to give feedback to kids. Um, it's some theory of, of action that is in writing projects and elsewhere too. It struck me that that when we are teaching students who are using AI and we haven't used it ourselves, <laughs> right? Yeah. We wait, when you said that, that Paul, I was like, mm, now you hitting us now. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm <laughs> good. Um, so so I I'm just starting to say, look. If we're going to help kids who are going to use AI with their writing, we need to start using AI with our own writing process, right? And then we can say, hey, you know what? When I wrote that paragraph, what I did was I took the AI and I, I got a summary of it. And then I looked at that summary. Then I went back and revised. We need to be start. Teachers need to start doing that with students, right? So that's and, sort of why. Yeah, go ahead. So I wanted yeah. to say that, I, that. Yeah. I use AI often um, and I use it more for writing letters of recommendation for the students. I use it for differentiating instruction um, so that I have five different ways to teach the one lesson, which we've been asked to do as miracle workers, teachers, because um, everybody is in one classroom. Um, and now I have AI doing that. Um, but Paul, when you ask the question regarding this chapter of the book, I never yeah. pulled in AI to help me think through because I'm really stuck right now in a spot mm -hmm. in this chapter. And I'm saying, yeah, why, why haven't I used AI? Why haven't I asked it like I asked my students? What's actually most important in this work? And what are you trying to say? What What is it that you're trying to say? Can you pull out an outline for me? Where do you think I'm going? Am I persuading? However, I know this is a narrative writing. So I need to, I could use an outline tool to just provide my way through. So now you've given me a job to do while I'm doing it with my students. But listen to Chris talking about reviewing all of um, what the students are putting in. I, I can't keep up with all of them. Oh, it's crazy. All right, Reed, sorry, sorry, Reed. God bless you, stay Reed, strong, you right? Right? Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, Reed, you found us. Oh, both of them did. Good. Rollin. Rollin's here too. Hey. All right. So, so, so I'll 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 I'll
Chris. I was asking Chris, do you no, keep so, all the writing they do in writing partners? Because my students are going crazy. I was meeting with three students at a time at the table, at a table in my room doing writing conferences because I cannot keep up with all that they put online. Uh, but, I didn't catch the question, sorry. How, no, because you mentioned about how much your students are putting into writing partners and how um, difficult it is for you to keep up with uh, reviewing all that they do. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. With the college essays, yeah. Yes, that's it was, what uh, There was a lot of stuff, yeah. Um, Rollin, welcome. And um, Sam Reed, welcome. Uh, Sam, we don't see you yet, but we, we see an uh, we see something that looks like you. Are you here? Are you <laughs> muted? We heard you for a second. You'll join us when you can. He muted. So, so, um, um, Bonnie, you started. You started listing some of the some of the ways you might use AI. I, I want to give just one example of something that I do, and this is a, a something that I'm writing for Debbie as well, and and. Um, so I've been trying to describe our two years of, of developing this work, and then that's fitting into some of the digital discourse work. Um, and a teacher, uh, I'll have to, I don't have her name handy, but a teacher in Texas wrote a piece about recently, about a month ago, about how she is never going to use AI in her classroom and it's banned from her classroom. And here are all my really good reasons for why, right? So I took the, so one of the writing partners is um, is gives you an uh, gives you a another voice oh, that opposing view, but you call it something else. Yeah, yeah, it's not necessarily up an opposing view, but it often is. Yeah, oh, it, it's you, like an option, another option. Yeah, imagined audience is what we call it. Oh, okay. So so the imagined audience so. What I what I did was I took her article, and I put it into the third box, and and anytime I want to in my writing to get feedback from a teacher who has that perspective, I go to her and I say, hey, what do you think about this paragraph? Or I just wrote these three paragraphs, and then she basically gives me feedback and says that's BS because this or that, right? <laughs> um, and then I can kind of adjust what I'm saying and, and, and kind of refocus my writing. So that's one way that I use AI all the time, right? Wow. Um, is, is that imagined audience person there? Um, and that's just one example. You know, right. if, I, if I went through my drafts and I can, you know, I rely on about about 10 uh, right writing partners kind of all the time giving me feedback i have a question i go to it I, I get thoughts from it i come back to my writing so it's part of how i write now right okay. and i and i think um i think the more we as teachers do that i think we'll know how to help our students um, okay just we see you now, Sam. In that case. Hey, Sam Reed. Hey. You got here. I got here, man. So Sam, Sam is running from another workshop he was doing, and Rollin is running from night school that she teaches. You guys are the hardest, I, I, I tell you. And and Bonnie's running from a political event. So I, I really, really, really appreciate that you all made it here. And I'm on sabbatical. <laughs> when you can. I know. <laughs> but no, you Rollin. call us, we come, bro. Yeah, yeah. Rollin, Rollin just got on um, this about two days ago, right? Uh, and she's been texting me. We've been talking on the phone. Rollin, tell, tell us a little bit about what your students are doing and their reaction to what's going on. If you can, you'll have to unmute. You're muted currently. Yep. These are students at Central High School in Philadelphia. Good. I have ninth and 10th this year. And so I started with my 10th graders yesterday and I asked them to just plug in their essay, which they started. And that's the, um, the theme for the 10th grade is social justice. And they plugged in their essay and they were excited. Many of them were really excited that 
uh, they have somebody to ask. I said, you have so many questions and I'm sure, you know, you can just, instead of asking Mrs. Haywood, just ask AI. And then I asked them to um, find six different partners and then revise their work from there. And so what I'm gonna do is see the original and then read the revised with um, revised essay. And then we can have a conversation after that. And then I asked them to invite three people. They're going to read three essays and invite three people to read their essays. That's where we are. And then that's two days. <laughs> right. I, so, I just want to say that there's this notion of pushing and pulling, if, if I could just say, but like we often I find myself needing to show people, hey, you know, you can invite your class to see this and they can give each other feedback. On the first day, your students are saying, how can I share this with other people? So mm -hmm. you're you've done that and made it into an assignment where they need to give each other responses. Yeah, I just. Well, no, I just wanted to um, read. I wanted them to read the essays of others and then give one or two uh, feedback, you know. And then for the ninth graders, we were reading Poet X today, and we got to the most impactful person in your life. And then so I just right away I switched to uh, now comment. I mean not now comment writing partners, and then. I said, okay, write your most impactful person, three pa three paragraphs. And then from there, I asked them, to, I introduced them to AI. And then we just did one session today. So cool. And then we're going to do the same thing, you know, invite three readers with um, three comments. So it's exciting because they were excited about it. it said, one student said, I feel like my mother's telling me something. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a good thing. I think mm -hmm. who knows for sure. All right. Um, and Paul, so, I have to yeah, say, yeah. you have been very oh, good in translating what we say as classroom teachers and putting it into practice in the personas of the thinking partners. And you have also been highly detailed oriented in listening to the students as they ask you questions and as they kind of probe you, well, why can't it work like this? Why can't it do that? You know, and you've been very receptive to what they've asked or didn't know, um, but you heard what they said and what we said um, mm -hmm. and, and have turned it out. So you're right. How come I have to ask myself the question, then how come I'm not using it more? Mm -hmm. um, and I don't even think I'm as sophisticated oftentimes as the students in their use of the push and pull of self to technology, technology to self and, and my writing ability, because I've always thought I was a good writer. And I, well, I'm, I don't think it, I know I am, <laughs> but you know, I need to incorporate um, the AI in my writing more because I can do it faster because I don't so, have all this time anymore. So I, I want to, so I, the, so I understand Joe Dillon's writing a piece of this chapter. Ravana, you can um, help us with this outline if necessary. Um, and, you know, he's, he, he and I talked on email, but, and we'll get around to him. But then I was writing a piece about describing how TTT worked and how we ended up building this thing together. Um, and then Bonnie, you're writing the piece, Sam, you're writing the piece, and Roland, you're writing the piece. Is that is that roughly correct, Rabani? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, and, okay. and I, think, I think in our cases, we're writing an AI piece, but in addition to that, we're writing some other- uh, Another chapter. Too. Another, another in, input in, uh, vignettes in the other chapter mm -hmm. and well i'm going to give you like detailed feedback from my reading i just did an initial read yep. um and part of the trick because we're doing this collaborative writing and i asked the group as well like how do we like unify the voices of all these multiple voices and they're they're going to play around with some tricks around that but uh and so in, in my reading I, I i wanted to think about i wanted to think about that i mean in my reading your piece i wanted to 
have that. Yeah, like, yeah, that, that's that's an important part. So mm -hmm. there there are some tools that aren't really obvious, but it would be good for you to know how to use them for your students too, <laughs> um, and for your students to use them, uh, like um, that that will allow for more collaboration. Um, what I want to challenge us to do is wherever you write your first draft, second draft, whatever, that's fine, but try to use writing partners mm -hmm. as a place for you to to do your vignette right. and see and see how using ai there um like people who de design software call this eating your own dog food right yes. meaning that right so we're eating our own dog food in that we're putting this out as an idea for students to use if we use it ourselves we're kind of kind of figure out how it tastes right yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Hmm. Um, and that if if it's and that if it's good enough, and if it's healthy enough, and if it will sustain us, and all yeah. of that too, because that's important too. And so you're absolutely right, Paul. But but yeah, but it, and this is true for students too. If you have a flow in Docs, go for it. Do your flow there, but bring it back so we can play with the AI in. Yes. in um, and writing partners too, right? Does that sound doable? It sounds a, doable. I and I'm glad you just said that, take it back and forth through different um, platforms because now where my students are with the writing of the quote unquote, well, I just call it a writing composition to be posted on the forum. Really, I see the students going into Google Docs and then coming back in the writing partners with their work. And so you just said what my brain has been thinking already. And I'm like, uh, do what you want. Yeah, I, that, that may be because that's their flow and that's what they know and that's all good, right? But on that's the other hand, flow. that was my brain. It wasn't that. I know. Yeah. But on the other hand, if, if, they, if they learn how to, how to edit on, on writing partners, they might do that more often. Um, uh, Roland, I noticed your students have already started doing that. Yes. They, they, they've gone in, they, right. So, so oh I, yeah, go I ahead. Think it's going to be, they're trying to edit first a sentence and then the paragraph. And then I still made them copy the revised document and put it next to their original document so that we can have a conversation later as to what changes did they see. Then I appreciate that you accommodated my request for that other thinking partners. And I told them to try it today. And I think they saw some changes. Mm -hmm. When you say edit, do you mean literally edit or are you thinking more of ideas, revision? So uh, for for example, they plugged in their their pieces and then they chose grammar uh, partner and then they saw their mistakes and then they edited it there right away. Mm. Mm -hmm. By double clicking on the, when you double click on the sentence, you know, yes. many of us don't know this because we've used now comment to look at text. But we don't want kids <laughs> editing. Eddie. Mm -hmm. Right, it's text. But if it's their own writing, that uh, that exists on on writing partners. They double click on a paragraph or a sentence, and then they can go in and edit it. Um, and the and it does keep the history of the editing right there. Oh, it as, does as well. It does. Mm -hmm. um, and and but and or if it's a bigger like I'm doing a whole I'm moving three paragraphs around. You can add to the document as well, right? So, the, yeah, I didn't. Ronnie, some of your students have done that. They've added yeah. revisions. Well, we're to work with it. I know, but I don't. I don't know if we see it when we add to the document like that. So, I need more practice with that. And then I was so, having to play around with highlighting too, because you have all these highlighting features built in, and and we don't really use them, but they could be yeah. useful. Could be, yeah. Um, so <laughs> it's it's all of that sort of understanding how to do this with our students and then doing it with ourselves. 
But if you if you click on the one, and maybe I'll go to it. But if I go to it, then Bonnie, why don't you go to it? Can you go to the one that's on the table? That's that's mine. Done. Mm -hmm. And then share 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 your screen. Yeah. That way you it's mine, and then we can see what it looks like for somebody. So one of the things you can do, and and Roland, I did notice that some of your students are already doing this too, is that you can you can make a comment on a sentence or a paragraph or the whole document, or on a sentence or paragraph, you can also recommend a change. And when you do that, the paragraph comes up for you. You you make the change that you want it to be, and then that becomes a that becomes a um, a comment on the right side, and the writer can then come in and accept or reject that change. Right? So this is another way for us to build for each other as well as what well, is part of why I'm bringing this up. Um, Okay. Can so, you all see it? Yeah, we can see it. So, shall I read the first paragraph and you write a response? Anybody okay. else who wants to jump in? So, what exactly do, do you want us to do? Yeah, I want you to. So, here's what I'd like you to do. I would, I would like you to find something that you think I should revise. <laughs> which is not easy, but in that first paragraph. So, shall, or you can do, it doesn't have to be the first paragraph. Okay, but I now I can't see the whole paragraph. Can, I? can yeah. you see this we'll paragraph? The second paragraph, yeah. Yep, okay. So now, you said click on it twice. I did. Okay, so you chose that sentence, we know that AI will never, yep. Hold on now, wait. Oh. So I just want to, so it's okay. Just want to make clear that you, you, and we need to make this clear to the students. You have a choice at this point. You could mm -hmm. make a comment, right? Mm -hmm. Or you could go up to suggest revision up there. Oh, boom. Oh. So it, it, takes, it takes a minute maybe for it to show, but scroll you up and down. You it says revise sentence, edit to show new wording. And then it has at the bottom a reason. But th th is the sentence not showing up yet? The old it's sentence? Not. Yeah, no. No. It, sh it should be. Uh, open and close that box a little bit. It's just, um, uh, no, no, not that one, sorry. They, <laughs> see the triangle? Oh, there, yeah. it is. There, there it is, yeah. It just takes, sometimes you need to make it bigger. Okay, so now make the change. It's okay, don't, whatever. I'll reject it if I don't like it. <laughs> yes, sir. I just want to play with it. Yep. Okay, I'm, I lost Bonnie's screen. Uh, how can I get uh, it done? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe, um, maybe go back out to the table and Beside Bonnie, there's a little icon that says yeah. show, hit that, and it'll come back. Ah, oh, you're right. Okay. So you made the change, right? Do you want to say why? Give it a reason. <laughs> Fair enough. And now submit that or whatever. The, I can't see it below, but... Okay, let me do this. Yeah, then suggest change. So this is one way for those of us look at reading each other's oh. videos to give each other feedback. So here's what comes. So the writer sees this, and mm -hmm. then there's another little button that says accept change or reject change. Right? Where is that? So you, well, you can't see that. I see it as the writer. So... Oh. Uh, I have a question. So when Bonnie was doing that, I was reading that from the document, and I don't see the changes that she's doing. Yeah, close that. Close that box for a second. Okay, Do you I'm see? Sorry. That's okay. Do you see on the right side there, Dr. Bonnie? Right. We all know she she crossed out. We'll never put in. Won't she crossed that challenge? Made it challenges. Mm -hmm. 
Do you see that? Yes, I do see that. But what I'm saying okay. is when she was doing that, the revision, she, only she can see that? No. Oh, that well, may, that may just be a Kumo space thing. Everybody... The, the boxes, you know, the, those boxes that came up. You can't see these two boxes right I now? Can, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, I can see that. But when I was reading it, I can see it because I, you're showing it to us on the screen. But when I'm when I looked at the document oh. itself in writing partners, I don't oh. see what Bonnie's doing. That's right. You just see That's, a black. You, you, black. Would, you would see your version of it. Yes. I yeah. see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, even if I invite, you invite your classmates, say, for example, my, my students invited each other to view the document. And when somebody's doing something, they can't see what that person's doing? Not until it becomes, not until they send it to. I see. Okay. Once it's sent, then everybody can see the right. suggested changes, though. Yes. Okay. Good to know. Fair enough? Yes. And I, I, um, I want to, I want to suggest that um, we've designed this, or it got designed somehow. It became so that AI is in there too at the same time, on the right side as these suggested changes, as the replies. It's this kind of mixture of different things, and I think, and and we'll describe in some writing that that's a really wonderful thing to have AI mixed in with the rest of the conversation. Um, however- and especially, Paul, I wanna say, unlike Google, yeah. that you don't see it that way. You have to go back screen after screen after screen to see revisions. Right, and if you click on that little, um, I think you can see it. Do you see the, just to the left of the paragraph, there's a little- this, this, um, yeah. Yes, that guy. Click on that. Oh, you can well, then, if that is the cutest thing. You can then see whatever changes I've made, right? Now you see it. Oh, yes. No, no I'm I yes. I changed, yes. I changed yeah. them to them. It was a small change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What happens when you, do you mind showing what happens what you do when you do reply with AI? What happens? I, I wanted to do the stop me. No, go for it. Thank you. <laughs> so now which one are we going to use? Just just use the improv teammate. Okay. Okay. All right. What am I going to ask it? Because I forgot where I uh i don't know Where, what are we we are working to fill in the gap oh what do you think about all this gap business i don't So Paul, I'm, I got in there mucked up. I don't in a. You know, I might literally be mucking it up, but that's that's okay. That's, refresh to see. Refresh. You and Bonnie are. You and Bonnie are working at the same time, so yeah. There he is. The screen to see. There he okay. is. Uh, but but I'll, I'll just verbalize what I was thinking. Like when I even read it first, like I want you to center. The teachers from Philly and Denver, like, you know, because you're in you're in New York, like I want you to center that 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 context like right away. Like it may mm -hmm. you, 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 mm -hmm. you so I, I mean this was like teachers in Denver and Philly at forefront of it, like we're interrogating it. I, I want you to like create that gotcha. That tension, like mm -hmm. not tension, but you know. Kind of tension, but also kind of like picture. Like, we got <laughs> really teachers here. We got different teachers teachers here. Teachers. I'm in New York over here. Like, like everybody's represented with this. But and Philadelphia's teachers are all in different buildings, and we don't see each other either. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's I want that no, to be like that's, that's helpful. That, yeah. Um, and, and what just, just happened there, what just happened there will happen with students too. 
they will like remotely make comments to each other, but then there needs they'll, they'll, there needs to be a moment where they can just say it to each other too. And I I want to say that both of those are important, and you know, one or the other, and they don't cancel each other out, right? Um, I want to try to find just to show you just one more thing worth noting in terms okay. of, uh, and I'm going to try to share screen now. Okay, so stop. Yeah, I, if you can. I did. Um, <laughs> so, um, and am I sh am I sharing this screen? Yes, you are. Okay. Um, and I'm going to teachers in the middle. Um. By the way, if you don't know this yet, a quick thing that you can do right after your class is done or whatever is you can scroll down to the bottom and see the latest comments, right? Okay. It's a way to do a quick check. They, they change, obviously, like a river, right? But oh, um, <laughs> like but one I, of the streams that they're riding on kayaks. How about that? <laughs> after <in> the river. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go back here and I'm going to see that. See, here's where I can see the accept. Oh. And, and I can accept that. The or writer can, can. The writer can accept it, right? Where do I? Can I also reject it? Yeah, I can just delete, I think. I just wanted to show you also that a any of the students, if, they, if this starts getting really cumbersome and a mess, you can take any comment like Bonnie's stuff here, I can take this and go, you know what, I'm going to archive that. And it's going to go away. So it Hi. clears up my space. Right. But it's up here. I can unarchive it anytime I want hey, but, to. Bonnie, need hmm. to go back to I'm, I'm stepping because we because the archive, Bonnie know what I'm talking about. Yes, yes. <laughs> and that's what we're talking about now. Now we're in something else. And then and uh, and Robani knows Dr. Barrett. Barrett, we're doing living archives. That's what we're doing next. Okay. So, my point in pointing that out is that um, is that it may be that your students have, and this is certainly true, Roland. Your students were like playing all over the place, trying this partner, that partner. Um, if they they can either they can't delete anything but they can archive anything they want to and make everything over here blank, right? And then it's easier for another student to go in there and give them feedback. Um, I really have to comments? do it myself yeah. so I can see how this is. This is, <laughs> this is exactly what I was hoping you were gonna say, <laughs> yes. Remember, remember the way I can go in and edit. I don't think we showed this. I'm showing this. I can go in and double click on a sentence, go to edit sentence, mm -hmm. and I can edit that sentence, right? That's a mm -hmm. little different than the suggest edit because the edit actually goes in at this point, mm -hmm. right? Or I can double click on the paragraph and edit the paragraph, mm -hmm. and then I can edit the paragraph. Um, right? Paul, did you put this yes. in? so that you could it's kind of like social annotation so that people can see what other people have commented on your piece or did you put this in and did you then work on it using the ai essentially doing the you know the, the i'm not sure what the it is in that question say it again did you yeah. put your um writing in here and as you were doing it were you also using your own AI. Yes, I have another document that um, shows. Yeah, um, you, you see, there there are a lot of citations here. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll say this one just as another way that I used AI. There is a um, a research assistant AI <laughs> that consensus. Will, uh, it's actually over in now comments still. I'll move it over. A, a research assistant. And what it does is it takes your text and re recommends um, mm -hmm. peer-reviewed papers that might be related to your text. So I use that to kind of beef up my citations and so like forth. Perple here. Like perplexity. Or yeah, consensus. But, 
It's, oh know, yeah, consensus word. Oh, that's why you were saying that word. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, but it's in the context of your own writing, and it's here, and it's also in the context of your peers giving you feedback and your teachers. Now you know we need to have that all shucks. Mm -hmm. What's the research? So, Rabani, you see how crazy we are with it? I love this that. I love it. And I think it's really, it's a really cool idea to just like at least do, especially for this chapter that we're writing together. It might be, I think this is something we should just do. I mean, I think it only sort of like, you know, maybe we could even write and mention it somewhere that we use this. When we do our, when we do our Monday meetup, maybe it's something we could play around with. Like yeah. More fully. Yeah. So uh, the first step, the first time. step is for, for everybody oh. to get to get something up in writing partners, and then and then invite. I'll put mine up there right away. That's easy. Okay. Well, and then, well, the other thing but also is, make sure you invite us to it. We usually Remember finish at nine, Bonnie. So that's why I'm trying to bust in on Paul real fast. Right, go ahead. Because Paul, we talked about even with the book to have a video attachment to it. Even we even talked about that kind of possibility because some of this work that we're doing is not as easily written. It's not. It's, it's, it's not text. It's not text. It's not a textual uh -huh. story. You know, some of what we're doing is for people to hear us and hear. Like um, Sam uses the word all the time. That tension. Like the going back and forth, the layers that is taking us. And look at that window you have behind us. I'm trying to like, close it. Sorry. That's what it takes. <laughs> yeah. But that's what it takes. Yeah, it's really cool. That one. Bonnie, I love that. I love, like, I think, I, you know, we can sort of, while we're sort of, I think our chapter is the last one to go in. And once everyone, everyone writes, I think you're all writing other things in it. But I, we could maybe have another session when we're all, all our minutes are up. Where we're just sort of doing this work on what we did today, mm -hmm. and have that as like um, what it looks like, and we can talk more about. It. But this was really cool. I love this, uh, Debbie. I wanted to ask you. Uh, I I noticed at one point you were asking the authors of the book you're editing to re to talk about how they're using AI too. How's that going? Just uh, yeah. you know, I'm getting. Uh, I'm. It's interesting. I'm aiming for a different voice from each author. Mm. To, to, when you ask people to write about uh, something for a professional publication, they go into third party neutral, you should do this and you should do that. You, you know what it sounds like. Yeah. And I, um, for the drafts I've gotten. And, I and AI will help you sound even more like that. <laughs> exactly. So for the drafts I've gotten, it's been a loop in which I really pick it apart and say, you say this as if it's this fact, factual knowledge. What I want to know is what you think about it. And that is like pulling teeth with people who are used to writing third person, neutral, professional stuff, you know? So it's, yeah, it's which is why I want to draft from you, Paul, because it's in the, I really mean that it's in the drafting that you're going to be making changes. I don't mm -hmm. want to pull yeah. teeth from you. It's much better if you write your idea as informally as you like. And mm -hmm. then we have these long back and forth about what it really should look like. So I don't want politics. Debbie, Debbie, can I, I just wanted to, just we're doing backwards introductions here, but it's okay. The The column you wrote for many years was called, Oh, was it fr Friction? Or, yes, no. yes. And, I, you know, my, it was. It was called Friction. Or, or, it was. Or some version. And so, the, the secret what? of that column is that it started so long ago, nobody ever used that word in relation to education. And in fact, software people use the word frictionless. That was mm -hmm. their goal in creating software. So mm. Debbie, I just want to say, so that is the goal of the tech big bosses to make, to make 
like getting information frictionless and it's not our goal as teachers so our real question i mean and other people are starting to use that word now too around educational uses of ai is bringing is how can ai bring the friction back to the process right exactly. so I, exactly. I think that's pretty exciting that's to think the about. six hundred thousand million dollar question yeah before the districts bleach it all um, right. <laughs> If, if you're interested, you guys, in anything to do with the third technology revolution, which is what we are working on right now, there is a book by Chris Dixon that you ought to read if you haven't read it. And it is not for the faint of heart because he talks about blockchain. But I would argue that it gives you, it starts with the command line before the Mosaic browser. And he talks about how originally the internet was a read environment and then it became a read write environment. We are entering a new um, era in which it's going to be so you read say, write oh. People are leaving, sorry, Debbie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a great reference. So, um, yeah. so I, I, and, and I want to end by saying this, and just by saying that um, some of you have said it already, but I, I want to put a pin in it. Other teachers, not just us, need to have writing projects that they're learning how to use AI on together, right? And then they'll know what to do in their classrooms. Um, for us to, or for a principal to say, hey, go play with AI, doesn't make any sense, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, we're doing the right thing and we need you to really find are. other ways for other teachers to do this too so. you really are you're really <laughs> the right. only environment that i'm in in which you're asking people to think mm -hmm. you're not just showing a bunch of shiny new glittery things and saying look look what you can give to ai to do for you because mm -hmm. that's the people who are not going to have jobs in teaching that's what i told my children today debbie I said, listen, this is not just about reading, writing, analyzing. This is about preparing you for what is about to happen next. I said, because those who can speak to the technology and make it do what you want it to do or other people do, or other people want it to do, those are going to be the career winners. They're going to be the change makers because you have to really think through and 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 it is a push and pull it's like that uh what's that taffy that you pull and it and it comes out oh so sweet but the pull is difficult you know salt water taffy. Right. salt water bonnie, taffy. everyone's leaving which is good thank you thank you uh bonnie we're on tomorrow afternoon yes okay yes we journalism are. class we're going to do a publishing workshop Whoa. Even, yes. if they're not ready. Yes. even if they're not ready Okay. Chris Dixon, okay. read, write, own, building the next era of the internet. Is that what it is, Debbie? Yes. Okay. And you're gonna and you're gonna glaze over a little when you get to blockchain, but just keep going. <laughs> you know, he's okay. he's the, he's the first. It on audible. Hi, Roland. Thank you. For Good night, everybody. Thank Get you. On audible, Debbie. So that See ya. night. Chris, we got. I, I, I want to do a publishing workshop with your kids when they're ready too. So okay. let me know about how that works out. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. See you all. All right. See you. Debbie, we're still here. I can still talk. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I just, uh, I'm happy to talk to you. I just am in awe of the great risk taking behaviors that you exhibit, and I wish every person I worked with was as open and honest about that as you are. Mm, thank you, Debbie. Thank you so much. You it's know, not a compliment. It's an observation. Okay. Well, but you know what? I tell uh, it's twenty three years in the business now, and now I'm on the other side of this thing, and I'm not afraid, and I don't want the young people to be afraid either because oh, it's coming because they started out being afraid. Oh, you're gonna teach us how to cheat? But now they see, they see what is happening here. Yeah, and I think what Paul is saying about experiencing it as the learner is not a trivial 
job mm. because you're going to feel the anxieties of a learner, the feeling that, oh my God, where am I going to take this? What is it? I've had this experience doing inquiry research during the mm -hmm. pandemic. I actually picked something just like a kid would, and I was coached through it. And trust me, I spent three months circling around what was my real focus here? What do I really care about? Do we ever give three months to a kid doing a research <laughs> project? I know you're Bonnie, Bonnie, this has to be our message at NCT too, by the way. Yes. Like, get 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 messy with this get in here and get start in, making yes, stuff yourself yeah. i Make tell the children we're on an academic playground we are about <laughs> to turn over the world with the play i said you know a seesaw just was didn't just show up in a playground somebody had to invent it and try it out over and over again until it worked perfectly i said the sliding you know i, I have to say all of that and then i get them all excited about it and they're like oh yeah <laughs> we could just yeah. play it's yeah all right i'm I gonna go thank you